Hey everyone, Jim here with Jim Needham Heating, Cooling, Plumbing and Drain. Uh, doing a quick video on how to shut your water up to your home. Um, usually there's a couple reasons you only have to do that. Is usually if you're doing repairs or remodeling or whatever the case may be, or God forbid you wake up in the middle of the night and your house is flooding, you wanna make sure you know how to shut your water off. So the first thing you wanna know is make sure you know where it is in the home. Um, so if you do need to shut it off, then obviously you can shut it off a lot faster than it would cause a lot less water damage the sooner you get it off. But anyway, this is a ball valve type uh, valve, which is a good valve, by the way. So to shut the water off on these, it's just usually pulling the handle down. It's, you can only go one direction. The water is actually off to the house right now, um, that quick. And then turn it back on as the handle is in line with the, with the pipe. Um, and that's a good valve. If you find that you have one of these valves instead of one of these, you might want to check to make sure that it's working. What we found was that over the period of years is if the water's not being cut off periodically and this isn't checked, you'll get calcium buildup inside these type of valves. And when you go to shut them off, sometimes you can't turn the handle, it's frozen. Two, you can shut it off just fine. And then when you go to turn it back on, it, it'll break on you. This is something that we run into a lot. So if you have one of these, you might wanna go down and check, make sure that it's operable. So in case you need an emergency, that it's gonna work for you just fine. If you find that it doesn't, just give us a call. We can, that's something we can definitely take care of for.